Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of How To Tutorial. Although it's been such a long time, I just want to say thank you for all the likes and loves you've dropped on my previous tutorial on how to install CM13. So again, thank you. And today I'll be showing you how you can install near latest custom ROM on your devices, whether it's on a 2 years old device or on an 8 years old device like mine. I'll be using Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 to demonstrate this tutorial. Currently I've installed CM13 Android 6.0 and I'll be upgrading to Lineage OS 14.1 or Android 7.1.2. As always, all the links will be in the video description. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you do, hit the like button and subscribe for more contents in the future. Now first and foremost, we're going to have to download and install Samsung USB driver and the link will be in the video description. Next, we're going to have to download the latest version of Odin which in this case will be 3.14.1 Then we'll need to download TWRP recoveries We'll not be using the conventional CWM or Filsy Touch recovery So make sure you download the first three files that is the latest uploaded on the same day And to download TWRP for your own device just go to this link which is in the video description Follow the brand of your device and the model number and you'll be able to download the TWRP recoveries after that, we need to download custom ROM, which in this case Lineage OS 14.1 for my P5110 and make sure you download the latest file. To find out the official Lineage OS for your device, just follow this link from the video description and press through the list. And also download Google Apps Mini for this specific Android 7.1 uh, version and use the ARM for the um, older devices and ARM64 for the recent devices. After you finish downloading everything, just group those files so that it's easier to locate. In Linux file, I've downloaded the two files. In TWRP, I've downloaded three files and the Odin, Google Apps and the Samsung drivers. So now it's time to start installing the Samsung drivers. Next, we're going to open the Odin file and then extract those files into a folder. And also, don't forget to um, connect your Android device through USB cable to your computer and then enable USB debugging. So go to settings and then it's usually under developer setting and then enable USB debugging. and make sure your device is connected to your computer. Next, to install TWRP recovery, you'll have to boot the device into download mode. To do that, unplug your power cable and then turn off your device. And for this model to boot into download mode, I have to press power button and the volume out button together and then let go of power button when the um, sign, the logo shows up. So power button and volume up button together. Then click continue to volume down. And now plug in your USB cable. On your computer, open Odin. Odin.exe, which we have already extracted. And now you should be able to see this um, detection CUM3 or whichever the number would be but the device will be detected on your computer if it's not detected then there's either something wrong with the download mode not being connected properly or the USB cable um, is damaged somewhere now choose AP and then locate that TWRP file folder which we have created and choose .tar.md5 file and then once everything done, click start. And make sure you see this pass button and your device will reboot by this stage. And when this pass shows up, you can just exit loading. Wait for the device to finish booting up. And then what we'll do next is we'll copy the custom run file which is the lineage os um, file which is over 200 megabyte and we will also copy at the same time the google apps file onto the device 
So Google Apps File 1, number two, 1, and number 2 is the Lineage OS. And sometimes if your device storage doesn't show up when you open it, it's probably because it's set to charging mode. So click on the USB for charging and then change it to the file transfers. And you should see your internal storage. Open that and then in any way just copy this file. You don't have to extract the files in the in this zip file, just copy the whole zip, paste it anyway. And do the same for Lineage OS, um, which is over 200 uh, megabyte file. Copy that. And then once this copy finish, also paste it onto your internal storage. It doesn't have to be internal storage. It can also be, your, be on your SD card. And then paste the custom room. So in this stage, we are going to be flashing Lineage OS 14.1 as well as we're going to be installing Google Apps at the same time. And after this stage, hopefully um, the Android will be 7.1 and everything should go smoothly from now. To make sure your files are copied to your device, you can just check in the file manager. And you'll find these two files, once over 300 megabyte, once over 200 megabyte. Now we are going to boot the device into recovery mode. To do that, firstly, just unplug your USB cable, turn off the device, and now to put into recovery, you're going to have to press power button and the volume down button, especially for this model, at the same time, and then when the Samsung logo pops up, release the power button, keep holding the volume down button. So power button and the volume down. Let go of power button. And as this is the first time, it might take a while, so just be patient. And you can also plug your USB cable again if your battery is running out like mine. Um, and then just swipe to allow modifications. What we're gonna do first is we're going to wipe everything. Make sure you have already backed up your important data and files. So just swipe to factory reset. And then go back, go back again. And now we are going to install first the custom room and then Google Apps. You don't want to install Google Apps first. You have to install the custom room Lineage OS and then install Google Apps. So click install and then find the Lineage OS 14.1 make sure you've downloaded the correct file for your device otherwise it could um, break your device and then click swipe to confirm slash and then just wipe cache and then go back go back and now it's time to install google apps and then swipe to confirm Right now, we're just waiting for it to finish installing. And now you'll see that installation is complete. Just wipe cache again. Swipe to wipe. And now we're going to reboot the system. And if you've got any questions um, along the way, just pop them down in the comments below. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. So after waiting for about 20-25 minutes, it finally booted up. So I'm going to press next. And also it is considerable that the, the device is um, about 8 years old, it's going to be a bit laggy. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button and it will be really helpful. 
And if you have any questions or feedback or any thoughts, drop them down in the comments below. And peace out.